Okay, in this video, I'm going to uh, show how to integrate or how to evaluate integrals of the form shown in uh, these examples here. Um, there is uh, one more example there. Um, these are actually integrals of powers of sine and cosine we're going to be focusing on. So, um, just uh, some guidelines uh, as we go through these. So, all these uh, are basically integrals of this form where we've got sine to the power m cosine to the power n d theta. Um, so, if one of them is zero, then you just get uh, the other. For instance, here you just have sine and here you just have cosine. So, that means the power of the other is zero. So what happens here is that uh, if one of these is odd, um, so if either m or n is odd, uh, then this is what we do. I'm just going to focus on the case where m is odd. If m is odd, which means uh, got sine to an odd uh, power, so then what we do is uh, we we save a sign and uh, then we write everything else in terms of cosine uh, and then after that we use uh, u substitution to evaluate the integral so what this means is that uh, uh, if you as you want to as you go uh, continue with this video you want to be up to speed with your uh, u substitution we've got a series of videos on your substitution I'm just going to post the first one here um, so if you a uh, use substitution is not up to speed please make sure you go and uh, um, you know make sure that is uh, polished up okay so that is the first case if one of them is uh, odd then that's what we do in the second case both of them are even uh, then in that case, we uh, rewrite the integrand using double angle formulas that we have listed here. Uh, of course, the fundamental um, identity of trigonometry uh, is uh, inevitably going to apply here. So I'm just going to write it there so that uh, we can refer to it as needed. All right, so let's uh, go have a go at the first one then. So in the first one, we've got uh, sine squared theta cosine theta. So we've got integral of sine squared theta times cosine theta. Sine squared theta times cosine theta. So um, we notice that uh, this is case one because one of the powers is odd here. So whenever that happens, so case two only happens if both of them are even. One of them is odd, then one case one. So here we're going to save a cosine, but we already have this cosine here. Um, so we're just going to leave it as it is. So what's going to happen is we are going to let u be equal to sine theta, which is the other function. Okay, then from there, du is going to be the derivative of sine theta, which is cosine theta, d theta. <laughs> so what this means is that uh, we can write this as du. And this, of course, is going to be u squared because it's sine squared. So what we're going to have is that our integral then, in terms of u, is going to be u squared du. Integral of u squared du is simply u cubed over 3 plus c. Then since u is sine theta, then this is a third sine cubed theta plus c. And so that is going to be um, our integral. Okay. Then in part b, 
we have uh, sine cubed theta cosine cubed theta. Okay, um, so this is a case where both of the powers are odd. So both M and N are odd. So we can either save a cosine or we can save a sine. So I'm actually going to um, work through both of those. So in the first instance, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this as sine cubed theta. Then I'm going to write this as cosine squared theta times cosine theta. If we save a cosine, then we want to write everything else in terms of sine. So this is already a sine. So I want to write this one in terms of sine. So we know using that uh, fundamental identity of trigonometry, since sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to one, then cosine squared we can write as one minus sine squared. So here, if you just uh, take uh, the so we want to write cosine squared in terms of sine. We will take uh, this to the other side. Um, then this is going to be cosine squared theta equals 1 minus sine squared theta. Then, of course, we still have the cosine squared theta d theta. Okay, so we have saved a cosine then what we do is we let u be equal to the sine. Okay, so u is going to be equal to sine theta. So let's call this i. If u is sine theta, then du is going to be cosine theta d theta. So just like we had in the first uh, example so this is just going to be du um, this is going to be u squared that's going to be u cubed because u is sine so what's going to happen is our integral we can now write as u cubed uh, into 1 minus u squared times du okay uh, if we remove those brackets there, this is the same as u cubed minus u to the power of 5 du. So this is just a polynomial. So to integrate, we add 1 and divide. So it's going to be u to the power 4 over 4 minus u to the power 6 over 6 but u is sine so it's going to be sine theta to the power 4 minus 1 on 6 sine theta to the power 6 plus c okay so that was just method 1 um, I think um, you will have noticed that we could do the same thing by saving a sine, this time we saved a cosine. Um, so in method two, we could save a uh, sine. So we're gonna have sine squared theta, cosine cubed theta, then sine theta. This sine theta is uh, the one we are saving. Then we're going to want to rewrite everything in terms of cosine this time. Um, so um, this is going to be the integral of, well, sine squared in terms of cosine. It's going to be 1 minus cosine squared. Then I've got cosine cubed sine theta d theta. So this time, 
we saved a sine so we're going to let u be equal to the cosine this time du is a negative sine theta d theta remember derivative of cosine is negative sine so negative du is sine theta d theta so that means um, this term here this time is negative du um, this is going to be u cubed that is going to be u squared so our integral is now going to be 1 minus u squared times u cubed times negative du if we absorb the negative into well, this term here and remove the brackets we are going to have u to the power 5 minus u cubed du uh, this again we can integrate it's just a polynomial so if we add 1 and divide it's going to be u to the power 6 over 6 minus u to the power 4 over 4 plus c this time u is equal to cosine so 1 over 6 cosine theta to the power 6 minus 1 over 4 cosine theta to the power 4 plus c um so in the first instance we got uh, this expression here and uh, now we are getting that other expression there i'm just going to write this one here just for comparison um then we're going to talk about this so in the first instance we got one over four sine theta to the power 4 minus 1 over 6 sine theta to the power 6 question is are these two the same function and the answer is no okay so this um is uh, an example that is uh, revealing an interesting um an interesting property or feature of integration so um, when you integrate uh, your answer is not necessarily unique unlike differentiation two functions can uh, result in from integrating one function in fact in this case we're going to show that there's even a third one all that matters here is that both of these functions when you differentiate them they are going to give us sine cubed cosine cubed so that is all that matters they do not have to be the same function so here goes um, there is a third method for this integral so we've got uh, sine cubed and this third approach is going to give us even uh, a third function uh, which is not equal to any of these two okay so this time we're going to use the double angle formula so remember we said sine 2 theta is 2 sine theta cos theta so what this means is that sine theta cos theta is sine 2 theta all over 2. Okay, well, this we can write as sine theta cos theta all cubed. So that means our i uh, is a sine theta cos theta all cubed. So this is equal to the integral of sine 2 theta over 2 all to the power 3. And so the one half 
works out to 1 over 8 and then we've got sine 2 theta cubed so this falls under case 1 because the power of sine is odd so we're going to have to save a sign and then write the remaining expression in terms of cosine so we're going to have sine squared 2 theta sine 2 theta d theta this we are saving this one we need to write in terms of cosine so when we do that this is going to be 1 minus cosine squared 2 theta sine 2 theta then what we do of course as usual we let cosine 2 theta be equal to u then du is going to be negative 2 sine 2 theta d theta um, which means sine theta sine 2 theta d theta is going to be negative 1 half du as we have in that integral then if we substitute so our integral is now going to be uh, 1 over 8 1 minus u squared du is negative half so um, sine 2 theta t theta is negative 1 half du so this is going to be negative 1 over 16 or if we absorb the negative um, then this is integral of u squared minus 1 integrating this is just going to give us uh, u cubed over 3 minus u plus c um, however since u is cosine 2 theta so this is one third cosine 2 theta cubed minus cosine 2 theta and so this is that third expression uh, of um, this uh, integral so we can integrate this uh, to get uh, this one this one or this one and they are all different but when you differentiate them uh, they all give us the same thing all right um so there's still a few more um there's still a few more however we're going to stop this video here and then we're going to continue so we've just done a and b we're going to continue with c d a, e and f g and h and i uh, in the next video or two all right uh, thank you for watching do not uh, forget to press the subscribe button and uh, so that uh, whenever we post a uh, new material you can benefit if you've got any questions uh, at all uh, and uh, or comments uh, on the stuff we're doing uh, do not forget uh, just uh, post your um, your your question or comment in the comment section below. Thank you.